Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And as this weekly wrap up includes the last part of November, I will have my stats before my outro. Jumping on in. The one book that I finished this week was The Burning Page by Genevieve Cogman, and this is number three in her Invisible Library series. I think that's the series name. It's definitely the first book, and this is an alternate history science fiction fantasy feel story, and it follows Irene and Kai, and Irene is a librarian with the mysterious library that is connected to all these alternate worlds, and her job is to go and collect unique books. So for example, we have grim fairy tales here in our world. Well, in another alternate world, they might have grim fairy tales with some extra stories. And so that would be what would make it unique. Or a standalone book in our world would have a sequel in another world. So those librarians are taking those books legally when they can and illegally otherwise and they're bringing them to the library, and that strengthens the bond of the library to these alternate dimensions. Kai is her apprentice, who also happens to be a dragon, which is one of the forces on this cosmic world conflict, where there are the Fae, who are agents of chaos. Yeah, they embrace chaos and the narrative stories that come with it. And then you have the dragons who are very orderly, so it's a secret that Kai is a dragon because technically they, the library likes to stay neutral. In book three, Irene is dealing with the consequences of her actions in book two, which means that she is basically on probation. And so then some of her retrieval missions are more dangerous than otherwise. And while out on one of these, she tries to get back to the library and the door that is supposed to link goes up in flame. So she knows that something's wrong and it goes from there because she has to let the library know and then finds out she's not the only librarian who had that issue. It's now a mystery of what's going on and who's behind it. At the same time, what are her elders in the library going to do? I can't really say much more than that because it, it is, this story does build off of the books from before, but I am really enjoying this world and these characters very much so. So that's the only book I finished. I then picked up Echo Genesis by Gary Gibson, which is one of the books that I'm reading for the self-published science fiction contest. It's one of the six quarter finalists from my group, Book Invasion, and I'm about halfway through. And this was something that I actually originally voted no on because of some hormonal young bodies wanting to have sex. And there is a little of that in here still but it's pulled farther back. We're now more into the world building aspects and I'm very much intrigued by the world building, but the character setups, especially the interpersonal conflicts are just annoying me. One of the tropes that Gibson has done is military people versus civilians. And I hate that trope because it makes the military people look like all they care about is like an authoritarian, government and killing anything that stands in their way, trying to be the top dog. And I am married to an ex-soldier, and so when I see that trope now, I realize how much it lacks nuance, and I don't enjoy it. That being said, if I had picked up this book, oh, 10, 20 years ago, this would have been my type of sci-fi, definitely. And I don't think the things that annoy me now, I would have picked up on before. So this isn't a bad book, it's just due to how much I read sci-fi, it's not working the best for me. Like I said, the world building is very interesting and how, at what, what we're learning about how and why they got there, that I'm finding interesting. But the interpersonal relationships between each other, each other, between each other is not interesting to me. I think also there are too many characters in this landing party 
And so some characters are getting more lost. Their personalities aren't really as distinct. And so when they come onto page, I'm always, I'm having to stop and go, wait, wait, who are you again? Pros and cons. And I will do a full review for this once I am done with it. I have barely started The Spring Bride by Anne Gracie. This is number three in her Chance Sister series following Jane. And the chapters I've read so far, I'm not really interested so much. Jane is not my favorite sister so far anyway. And so just coming in from her mindset on things, eh, I'm, I'm not sure if I really am interested in why she is doing things. I know that for this next week, I am definitely going to be finishing Echogenesis. And depending on my mood will depend on whether or not I continue to read The Spring Bride. But what I really want to get to after Echogenesis is The Lost Page by Genevieve Cogman, which is book four in her series. Because I am really enjoying this and I want to get back into the world with Irene and Kai. For my writing wrap up, I wrote the last two days of the month and yay, that was a lot of fun. I also got to be a guest on SD Houston's writing sprints. She did sprints almost every day in November and I was excited to join her because I did not uh, buckle down and do 50,000 words. I got 11,000 words, which for me, that's decent. I'm happy with it considering the family drama that was going on. I'm, I'm very happy with what I wrote. Also, at the very end, I was able to, well, I guess I should back up. So I'm not a outliner by nature, but this book I'm working on, the characters are based off of songs. And so I've been kind of using the song lyrics as a guide for what scenes I'm writing. So I kind of have a little bit of an outline and I went through at the very end of the month of November and just gave a brief scene description of what I thought that line would be. So I sort of have a line of how the scenes for Theo are going to finish up, which means I want to keep working on it. And I'm trying to be more intentional about my writing. So for the month of December, I am back to my writing goal being write 10 minutes a day. And I'll see how much I get done. Since November, I've not written anything in the book. I have been working on a job application which the cover letter and the diversity essay that I have to write has been stressing me out, but I turned that in, so I get to now go back to fun writing. And for my other media, my TV watching has definitely slowed down. I've only been watching a few episodes of Mas The Last Master Chef Junior with my husband, which again, if I'm reading more, or if I'm writing more, I don't watch TV as much. That's just how things balance out. Going for my November stats, my monthly goal is to read eight books a month. So this month I only read five. I read three novels, one novella, and one graphic novel. And I'm okay with that because one, it's NaNoWriMo and I knew I was going to be focusing more on writing. I didn't expect to this month to actually hit eight. So I'm okay. I think my balance is good from the rest of the year. For my new release goal of reading at least one a month, I read two in the month of November. I read the novella Rosebud by Paul Cornell, and then I read the novel The Spare Man by Mary Robinette Kowal. For my Goodreads currently reading, that has gone up. I started the month at 105, and then I added some more books ending November at 108. For my physical TBR, I started the month at 129, and I finished November with 134 because I purchased four of the six books of the quarter finalists so far and then I got an arc which actually I got the arc gilded by Marissa Myers and this is my first hardcover fantasy book I was very impressed I was not expecting this so that I will want to be reading sometime for my finished series, I started the month with 96 series in progress. 23 of those are caught up, so I've read up to the point that I think books are out. This month I finished none, 
but I started no new series either. The one book that I read that was part of a series was The Burning Page by Genevieve Cogman, and it's book three in the series. So I continued a series, but did not finish any, but did not start any, so my numbers remain the same. So as I am looking at my goals and kind of starting to look at that wrap up, I don't post my favorite books of the year or like really look at my goals too much until January because for me it's January 1st to December 31st so that's when you will see my favorite lists and more of a breakdown on my goals but I am starting to look at the how I've been doing so far so that I can adjust my goals for next year and as of right now I am planning to be on a planning stream with Margaret Pernard on her channel on the 11th of December. From what I understand, it's to be making plans and goals for the next year. That is what I have going on. I hope you guys are doing well, especially as we have now entered December, and that this year that's been flying by hasn't caught you off guard. Thank you, and have a great day.